directly from this president later today. Yeah, sure. Back on Israel real quick. Um, it's a domestic issue. There's a personal relationship between the president and the prime minister. Obviously, uh, the dynamics between the U.S. and Israel. How does the president view his role when it comes to what's been happening in Israel the last few months? So look, the president, as you know, just recently, but believe March 19th, he spoke to the prime minister. Uh, they had a very uh, honest conversation. We gave a readout uh, of. Uh, uh, of of that uh, of that conversation, and you saw a statement from uh, our NSC spokesperson uh, just yesterday about the situation that we have been seeing, especially on this particular issue of um, uh, the judicial court. And you know, when he discussed this with the prime minister, he said democratic values have always been and must remain a hallmark of the U.S.-Israeli uh, relationship, as you said, a close relationship. Democratic societies are strengthened by checks and balances, and fundamental changes to a democratic system should be pursued with the broadest possible base of popular support. That is what we what we all shared with you from that read, readout. So, uh, you know. U.S. support for Israeli security and democracy remains ironclad. That is continuing to be the case. But we will always, uh, always have uh, those honest and frank conversations with our partners, with our friends as well. Go ahead. Thanks, Green. Uh, just